carpe diem, seize the day. Leadership John's Creek calls it seeds the day. This motto helped create a community garden for John's Creek. Cindy Ede explains. The garden was an inspiration of Leadership Johns Creek, and I've been a part of a Carpe Diem team, and we started to meet back in November of 2009 to try to decide what kind of project we were gonna do for our, our uh, leadership class. We decided on this garden because the plans had already been started. Uh, we, they just needed a group to really uh, implement the plans. Uh, we did a lot of research with other community gardens. Uh, we got the construction plans done. We got the blessing from the city in April at the city council meeting. Uh, got sponsors, um, about six sponsors to uh, allow this to happen. And we started construction in May over two Saturdays with about 60 volunteers, over 200 volunteer hours. And we got the thing built and got the fence put up, put up shortly afterwards. People were amazed at how quickly everything went up. The garden started to get planted around May 15th. They're looking great now. Uh, we have 39 beds all together. Um, all the gardens are full. We've got a waiting list for gardens. And it's just been a great activity. I want to pay tribute to volunteers past, present, and future. This park wouldn't have existed and wouldn't exist today if it wasn't the citizens in this area that encouraged the Fulton County Board of Commissioners to actually invest in infrastructure here in North Fulton and they were able to get this parkland acquired and programmed prior to the city coming on board. Then the citizens and volunteers that chose to make our city be what it is, first to come into existence and our mayor and council were heavily involved in that but a lot of faces I see here today also made a big difference in why we have the city of Johns Creek and why we are already world renowned in many ways. And of course, the volunteers today that have made a garden out of what was just a area that was looking for a use, and now it has a fabulous use. And of course, some of the children here that it will be our volunteers of tomorrow that will take the city, this park, and all of the other public places in the city to new and better heights. Just looking here, it's pretty obvious that the word community in community garden is very obvious and very true. And uh, when I come down here to Newtown Park, and the Newtown area, I'm often reminded uh, that this is really the start of what I think I hope will spread throughout our entire city. Uh, a truly walkable, livable community that's got everything that you would ask for. Soon it will have a senior center. Uh, we've got a beautiful fire station across the street, a wonderful park with activities going on all the time. Uh, plenty of, of room for our four-legged friends. Uh, and, and now a place to grow. <laughs> He's a voter! He's a voter! And now, obviously, a place to grow uh, very healthy uh, fruits and vegetables and flowers. So I thank all of the volunteers who, uh, who've already started this. I want to thank uh, the, the, the Community Foundation in advance uh, for keeping it going uh, for a very long period of time. And of course, I want to thank my fellow council members uh, for being so supportive and bringing this forward on behalf of all of the citizens of Johns Creek. Count of three.